So I'm here to close Clara's kidding video. I probably look as terrible as I feel. <laughs> it was a crazy, crazy night. By the time that she started kidding, which was about seven, well, she started pushing it around 7.48. I was trying to time it because I wasn't seeing any progress in Clara. I'm telling you, she was uncomfortable. She was having contractions all day long, 12 hours of contractions. And uh, she wasn't doing the stuff that I thought she should be doing. And there was at one point at around 7.30, I was with my daughter and we started to notice that she would go through a contraction and then she'll close her eyes and fall asleep. And then the other contraction would come up and she would wake up and she would go through the, and then she would slowly go down and fall asleep. I thought to myself, I should have gotten, is it calcium glu glutinate? I'm not sure. I put it on the screen. It's basically something that you give your dose when they're uh, not progressing in their labor. And I remember reading in this book that Heather at Sage and Stone Homestead recommended holistic guide to goat keeping, something like that. It said that if your doe was five years old or more, it said something like it was past its prime and they're five years old. And I'm like, if five years old is past their, their prime, I don't know. So I didn't really pay attention to the end of the sentence that said to get that calcium supplement. So you can drench them with that when they're stalling in labor. I, you, you, you wouldn't believe how much I wanted to, to kick myself in the head for not having that because I felt like the 12 hours that this process took to the point that she started delivering those babies might have been shorter and not so stressful for her or for me thinking that something was really wrong that i was at that point i was really really worried now 7:48. i asked my daughter the time my phone had died i had no more battery on my light because i was using it throughout the day i had to go get a flashlight the flashlight light sucked it was like so many things not working at the same time and so in the end at 7.48, I said, okay, she started pushing with the four legs and her neck. And according to some books that I read, that's the indication that she's pushing, that that's actually active pushing, even though she's not screaming, she's not, you know, if she's pushing with her entire body, her legs pushing for, uh, forward or outwards, whatever you want to call it, and their neck is going down, uh, back like this, then that means that they're using all the power to push and you, sh you should see a kid within 30 to 45 minutes. It was 30 minutes later and she wasn't pushing any baby out. All I could see was a little bit of a white discharge that's been there for about 30 minutes at that point so i thought oh my goodness i'm gonna have to go in there's probably a breech kid and i watched this video recently about this breech kid that instead of coming with the head or the tail was coming like this so the lady grabbed one of the the back legs and the kid got stuck because you how do you get it from the side so I thought, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, that she's been stalling because she can't push this baby out. And then at the moment where I have the, the gloves, I have the lube, I have everything ready and I'm going to go in, I start seeing a bubble. And I thought, thank God. So I saw the bubble, the first kid came, then the second kid, then the third kid this point it was only 20 degrees everyone was freezing i'm telling you my husband was there my kids were there my daughter my son were there they were all freezing like they had jackets and and i am grabbing these kids soaking wet i'm giving them to the dough so that she she you know she can lick it and create that bond and connection that these are her babies and 
she doesn't have time to lick it because she's gonna push another baby and push another baby and push another baby and by the second baby she decided she didn't want to lay down she wanted to stand up and let the baby come out and at that point I felt like I needed to catch the baby as she was pushing them out the babies were pretty small really and I'll do an entire video on the baby I just recorded it I'll share it with you tomorrow because I don't want to make this extra extra long but but um, they were so tiny that it was easy for her to just push them out that wasn't the problem the problem is that I think she didn't have the energy and so she stalled throughout the day and it made it worse because at night she was extra extra tired so by the time she pushed the fourth baby out i don't know i just ditched the camera i was so worried these kids were starting to get cold the towels got all wet i had to go get more towels i got the towels i came back i got all the wet towels put them in the different spots starting cleaning them those towels got wet those kids were still sitting on some wet stuff they were getting cold the liquid was getting cold I checked their mouth, their mouths were cold, and at that point, even the first one, the one that is black and white, he lost the sucking instinct because once they get cold, they don't remember how to feed. So I tried to put him to get some um, colostrum from Clara hoping that he wasn't too cold but at that point he lost it and it was a good thing because when I checked his temperature he wasn't quite there yet so check their temperatures they were all between 96 and 93 degrees and they should have been a hundred at least so they were all cold I was consider putting them in a hot or very warm uh, sink to make sure that you know they they can gain that back instantly but I also read that if you do that the mom is not able to smell them anymore as their kids as her kids so I decided to go with the blow dryer and so I was blow drying one kid and then blow dry and if you're off grid a blow dryer takes a lot 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 of energy even from you know uh, the the distance and the power and it's just too much so i had one hair dryer and i was drying one of the kids and then the other one i could look at the other one and it was going like this like it was going to pass out and so i would go on the other one so long story short i didn't record everything because at that point it was survival mode if these kids were not warmed and given colostrum immediately they were surely gonna die even the big one it was just too cold and once a kid gets cold it not only loses the sucking instinct but they start to get lethargic they basically fall asleep curve into a ball and die and I really didn't want that to happen and I really didn't want to break the bond between Clara and the kids so that's why Clara <laughs> is right here and the kids are right there in that box um, you probably it won't focus because of the little plate pen there but <laughs> the four kids are there and they are so cute I ended up making uh, putting a mattress here on the floor and there's a heater here that is blowing hot air there's also the oven that I open a little crack in the window so the oven is on and so because of that th this place is really really warm and I decided to bring in Clara I put cardboard underneath a bunch of cardboard thank god I always have cardboard everyone gives me cardboard because I use it in so many ways so I put cardboard, I put straw, and I lured Clara into pen here. Her house is back there in the woods, so we had to go all around. She could barely walk. She was exhausted. She ate her placenta, 
she ate her placenta and there was two big bubbles she ate the big bubbles too which i'm assuming is the bubble that comes before the placenta the way that it needs to come out the placenta but she had two of them assuming because of the amount of kids she had or maybe the placenta was i don't know what the deal is but it came out she ate the entire thing i mean it was coming out and she was eating it another interesting thing that i hope i caught on camera and something that i read recently is that when those are in labor and they don't have enough energy they drink their own milk and <laughs> you better believe that clara was drinking her own milk it's it's a crazy thing but i'm so proud of clara because her instincts are always on point she knows what she has to do she knew that when she was done with this baby she was exhausted she needed the energy i didn't have the nutri drench that i should have had i ordered it my order got canceled on amazon i thought i was gonna buy it locally it just i spaced out and i didn't buy it and she ate that bubble those two bubbles and the placenta and i'm telling you within five minutes like she was really really into it to the point that at, when she was done i was trying to lure her here and she just wanted to stay with the placenta and eat it but her kids were inside we had the pan ready we had you know the kids there and the only reason why i have them in a box right now is not only so they stay together and they keep each other warm they're in front of the heater and then on top of that Clara's not able to sit on them because this I made it smaller so I can have some room to maybe eat dinner tonight so because of that I just you know there's not too much room and that little black boy the two boys the first two boys were are very very weak uh, the very first one is a lot stronger today but they are very weak to the point that sometimes Clara is stepping on them and they're not screaming. It, that That's how crazy it is. I'm happy that the end result was good up until this point. I was a little worried about Clara um, not being back to normal, you know, acting normal. She was a little down. She was, and the only water she wanted was hot water. So I gave her some hot water first, and then I gave her some hot water with molasses, and she loved that. And at this point, you can tell she is really, really exhausted. I don't know if you can even see her there, but she is sleeping by her kids. Last night, she scared me. Uh, she again she was stepping on the black boy and he wasn't saying anything and when i realized that was happening he had his mouth open but no sound was coming out i thought oh she's gonna trample these kids so i put the box outside by the door and she kind of cried at night because her kids were outside the door so i finally decided to put them in and now they're all resting i had the wonderful intention of bring her bringing her outside because right now as you can see it's super sunny i think it's 28 right now so it's not that it's sunny and nice outside so i need to keep these kids for at least a couple more days in here until they are at least the black ones gain some weight and are a little bit more perked up <laughs> for lack of a better term so they can fight for their teeth and I can, you know, I can still supplement with bottles. I don't mind doing that, but I really would like Clara to have this bond with his kids and stick up for them when they are in the pen with the other girls who are going to be mean to them because they're with the new kids in the block. So I went to bed at 1 a.m. I slept right here on the floor in the mattress and um, sleeping bag. Uh, Clara was feeling very comforter, comforted by my presence here. She really wanted me to be here. Like every time I would go up and go to a bathroom or something, she'd call me and, you know, she's in a new environment. She's not an inside goat 
and I'm sure she feels weird being in here but now she's very comforter, comforted by the idea that I'm right here with her and if she needs me or if the kids cry or if something happened she has somebody she can rely on and sometimes she you know she's that tired the kids will be crying a little bit and she just keep going and I'll grab a bottle and give it to them for the most part all of them are good with the bottle the little black boy which is the smallest he's the one that it's giving me a hard time latching so hey <laughs> Clara's kidding was as dramatic as the last two weeks of my life with Clara in particular but I'm so thankful that everything worked out that we were able to keep them all in here um, that mom and kids are resting and they're feeling at peace and okay being here I am so thankful that we are able to provide enough energy not only to heat ourselves up but keep them very very warm in the next three days that are gonna be super cold I can't wait for them to go outside and explore the world and be jumping and be healthy and be happy but they're not there yet it's gonna take them a few days to catch up and to gain some weight so I will be weighing them every single day they should increase four ounces every single day and that way I know that they're getting enough nutrients enough milk and that they're not only going to be healthier but also going to grow in size and that will help them get more energy and be a little bit more fun of a baby goat so these are my baby goats with less than 24 hours I would say that right now they're probably about well 16 hours <laughs> or less so isn't that the sweetest sight ever I just think can't I can't when she sees when Clara sees that door open she thinks okay we're going outside no we're not going outside sweet girl I'm sorry you have to rest yeah get your energy back but look at those kids so this black and white one is baby number one. That black one that is so hard to tell is baby number two. Baby number three is this white one that has this fun the light brown with gray silver color. And then number four this is beauty and Clara is back to her skinny legend self I'm telling you people were like she can't have her kids in that belly oh yeah she can because otherwise she's this skinny she's been a, such a great mom